We are senior design team MEM16 from Drexel University. The title of our project is the integration of force feedback into minimally invasive robotic surgery. The goal of this project was to demonstrate how realistic force feedback could be integrated into existing minimally invasive robotic surgery systems, such as the Da Vinci Surgical System from Intuitive Surgical. The Da Vinci System currently lacks realistic force feedback, which limits the type and complexity of procedures that can be performed. To address this problem, we created a prototype system that includes custom-designed force feedback capable user controls and an endo-wrist surgical manipulator. To control the endo-wrist, which is the surgical tool used in the DaVinci surgical system, we designed a custom mechanical interface. Two DC motors, seen on the left, are used to actuate the grip and roll degrees of freedom. Pitch and yaw can be adjusted manually using two knobs, as seen on the right. The user controls the endo-wrist using custom user controls, seen here. The controls feature two DC motors, which can be used to provide force feedback in both the roll and grip degrees of freedom. Two microcontrollers are used to execute the control algorithms necessary to provide force feedback and to control the endo wrist. We selected the Freescale Coldfire MCF51JM microcontroller for its onboard USB functionality, which allows data to be sent to a computer to be plotted in real time. We also designed a circuit board that includes all of the electronics necessary to control the DC motors. Each board is capable of controlling up to four motors and interfaces directly with the DemoJM demonstration board. Finally, the two microcontrollers are connected using a controller area network. All of these elements allow the user to control the grip and roll of the endo wrist, as seen here. In this close-up view, you can see the endo wrist gripper opening, grabbing an object, and rotating it. This demonstration shows how the system is used. As the user rotates the controls, the endo wrist rotates as well, as indicated by the graph. In each graph, the blue curve represents the user controls and the red curve represents the endo wrist. In this case, the user's input is scaled up to cover the endo wrist's full range of motion. Likewise, this graph shows that the position of the endo wrist grip axis matches the position of the user controls very closely. Force feedback is implemented using a current matching scheme. In this demonstration, as the endo wrist rotates and pulls on a rubber band, the motor driving the endo wrist must draw more current to achieve its target position. The red curve in the graph shows the current increasing as the tension from the rubber band increases. The voltage supplied to the motor attached to the user controls is varied to achieve the same current. The blue curve shows that the current at the user controls is equal in amplitude and opposite in direction. This indicates that the user experiences an equivalent amount of resistance. In other words, the user can feel the rubber band. We would like to thank the MEM and ECE departments at Drexel University, especially the MEM Microcontroller Laboratory and the ECE Data Fusion Laboratory. We would also like to thank our corporate sponsors, Freescale Semiconductor, for providing the microcontroller development boards, and Olympic Tool for machining all of the mechanical components.